The steepest street in the world is Baldwin Street in Dunedin, New Zealand. Or is it? San Francisco claims three streets that are steeper than the Guinness World Record official world's steepest street. And since I'm on a quest to find the steepest paved street in the entire world, there's really only one thing to do. Pack up my bike, fly to San Francisco, and ride all three streets. We're gonna find out who's lying, San Francisco or Guinness World Records. I'm no stranger to steep streets. In fact, some of the steepest streets in the world are in my neighborhood, and that's according to official surveys and Wikipedia. And yet, when I posted a video riding up those streets on my bike, I got thousands of comments like this. Listen up, all of you. When, when someone, someone questions my authority, I like to, you know, take a step back and make sure I got all my information correct. Since then, I've learned three things. Number one, there are a lot of streets that claim to be the steepest in the world. Number two, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. Mom was right. And the third thing I learned in my research was the GoPro effect, which according to the reputable Urban Dictionary is the effect where something that may be large in real life might look smaller while filming it. The science behind it involves depth perception, focal lengths, camera angle, but the result is it's almost impossible to really capture how big and steep a street is on camera. So instead of a GoPro, I'm gonna film with an Insta360 X3, and not just because this is sponsored by Insta360. This is the camera I would be using anyway. It's a 360 camera, so I can stick it out here and I can capture all kinds of different angles. I am going to capture every single angle I can until I convince you how steep these streets really are. Are. And to up the ante even more, I'm going to try to get a top 10 spot on Strava on the steepest street in all of San Francisco. Don't let me down, little buddy. I figured we'd test out some angles on some little streets before we get to the heavy hitters. All right, first hill. First up is Broadway Street above Taylor. Different sources claim this street's grade is up to 31%. PJAMCycling.com, which is basically the Bible of cycling climbs, reports an average 28% grade, although they do say it felt steeper. And I would agree. My GPS head unit registered a max grade of 31.6%. But, as you probably noticed, I failed in my attempt to capture the extreme slope on the camera. It looks average at best. You win this round, internet critics. In an attempt to clear my mind, I headed over to San Francisco's most famous street, Lombard, and I did a few laps up and down. Mm -hmm. The world's crookedest street doesn't make the steep streets list because it climbs at a measly average grade of 18%. Fun fact, most US states prohibit grades above 12%. <laughs> yeah, but you. San Francisco is a different animal. Even the casual climb to the next steep street is over 15%. And I wanna make this clear. We're not even at the top three streets yet. This is Filbert. Some people claim it's the steepest street in San Francisco, but it doesn't top any of the lists I found online. So it's understandable when you look at it from this angle, you'd think it's not steep. I mean, I am putting a massive amount of energy into the pedals just to get up it. For reference, one horsepower is about 700 watts. But what does that even mean? I need to find a way to communicate the effort that's visual. Something like this. Yeah, that's how steep it is. Look at the buildings in the background. Look at the guy walking down the stairs and look at the car. That's how steep all of these streets I've been riding oh. are. Thank you, little buddy. I gotta admit, I was never a huge fan of San Francisco before. I was a New York City boy for eight years, so there's a bit of, you know, like internal rivalry there, but riding around San Francisco on a crisp fall morning is pretty incredible. All right, I've done the first two streets and a bonus street, Lombard. So far, I'm feeling pretty good, but from here, it picks up. The remaining three streets, allegedly, are all over 37%. That's an insane grade. Before we go there, though, we have to make a quick detour because Everywhere you look, the city is full of beautiful houses. I'm gonna be such a good dad. Last three, coming for you. We're using PJAM as our source. They claim an average gradient of 31.6% for Broderick. But let's see how it feels IRL. Oh, it does look steep from here. Uh, 
I always forget to switch over that. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm feeling it. When you're riding up it, a little piece of your mind is like, oh, f I'm gonna fall over. But I don't know San Francisco, this isn't a street. Turns out it is a street, or rather it was at some point. San Francisco is filled with these paper streets. The name comes from the fact that they are streets on a map, paper, but they've been abandoned by the city. Some of them fall into disrepair. Others like this one are maintained by residents of the neighborhood. Whatever you call it, it was tough. Baker was gonna be much worse. The number two spot on P-Jam is the worst thing I have ever climbed. But before that, we're gonna jump to Bradford, the number one spot. Bradford claims the steepest section of pavement in the city and maybe the world, 41% for 30 feet or 10 meters. Although we did see 46 plus on my GPS unit earlier. See, this is what I mean by you can't trust the numbers alone. But in any case, let's be where we are now, Bradford. This is where I'm attempting to break into the top 10 on Strava. And I might be out of my league because I noticed Ted King, a former world tour pro who rode in the Tour de France, he holds the number three spot. If the rest of the top 10 are anything like him, I'm in trouble. So I gotta take off the jacket, water bottle, extra cameras. I'm taking this seriously. There we are. Let's feel it. Ooh, spicy. Ah. <laughs> Two times. That may be the steepest section of pavement I've ever ridden, but it's super short. Oh, I'm really excited to look at the ride data. Of course, we need to finish the ride before we can look at the data and see if I made the top 10. And as always, as you know, we have saved the worst for last. We're going cyclocross style right now because like, over there is the street that we're supposed to ride up. So I was reading on the PGM website. I don't know if it's PGM or PGAMM, whatever. Anyways, basically there's no place to start here. So I'm gonna have to start on the incline. We'll see what happens. In fact, the PGM team warns no sane human should attempt this on bike. It's so steep, they cannot ethically recommend it. There is no lead in. It's just stairs and then the climb. Remember the alleged steepest street in the world, Baldwin Street? It has a maximum gradient of 35%. Whereas this street starts off at the very beginning at 36.4% and continues at that grade the entire way up. You either need to lose the cleats have a buddy hold you up, or do something miraculous to get started up this monster. My little Insta360 has been a good buddy this entire ride, but I don't think it can help me clip in, so I'm gonna need a miracle. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get going with this. This could be a problem. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to clip in. One way or another, it'll either I'll either get up it or it'll be comical. Just like Bradford, I'm taking off the extra camera to save weight. I need all the help I can get. I figured the best way to get started on this climb was to use that temporary construction wall to prop myself up and do a trek stand at a sideways angle. Oh, heart rate's up and I haven't even started the climb. Now, I'm just a little road bike. We're going. And please remember, this angle doesn't do it justice. The start of this climb, where I'm at right now, is steeper than Filbert Street ever was. Remember Filbert? That little crash bent my brake lever, scratched up my bike, and my Wahoo was stuck with the ride pause. So there's no more ride data. I wanted to give up. And why not? All I have to do is cut this portion out of the video. Nobody will know. <sighs> mm. 
Try not to swear on this channel. But I've never been so proud of such a short ride. I almost don't care that my Wahoo wasn't recording. Almost. I guess I can take solace in the fact that I did get an all time top 10 on Strava for Bradford Street. Yes. Do Broderick, Bradford, and Baker count as streets? If they do, they are definitely steeper than Baldwin, the official steepest street. At least, that's what the numbers say. Maybe in person it's different. I've never been to New Zealand. A big thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Make sure to like and comment, and maybe we can get them to send me and my buddy here to Baldwin Street. You can pick up your own Insta360X3 via the link in the description.